What's up, YouTube? You know, sometimes I get in these spurts where I just want to make videos and I'm thinking about photography and stuff. This is one of them. I just got done doing uh, this. This is my MacBook, and I, I'm, I have it attached to my 14 terabyte hard drive, and it's, uh, it's end of year. So what I do is I typically start grabbing my best of 2023 photos and putting them into a folder and get ready to kind of make a photo book. Now, this photo book isn't like where my best art or best landscape photography or whatever was created. This is more for my wife and I. We make little photo books of our kids and put them in the cabinet behind me or like a coffee table. And we'll go back and look at these in a couple years. And so uh, this isn't like me trying to make a zine or something like this. This is just more for, for me, right? For our kids. It's documenting our kids. Um, and we love this because we've been doing this. I've been doing this for a few years now. My oven's preheated. We've been doing this for a few years now and... It's, it's with time, it's like a fine wine. It gets better. You go back and you look and you say, oh my gosh, remember this trip? Remember we did that? Uh, and whatever, your memory kind of plays tricks on you. We were just hanging bulbs on the Christmas tree and we were looking back and trying to remember like when we went to this trip or that trip. It's, it's for me. Okay, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is about image quality. Every single year that I do this, I come back with the same epiphany and I realize how stupid I am, how stupid we are, honestly, for being so gear obsessed. And it's kind of the reason why my anti-gas. I've been doing good. I know the ZF was kind of a blip, but that was more of a curiosity. I had to, to check it out. Um, but here's my point. I just went through all these pictures. And throughout this year, I shot a ton of cameras, like I always do. I always shoot a ton of cameras. It's unhealthy. I'm telling you it is. And uh, I went through all these different pictures. And the thing that I noticed, again, is that the camera in itself, the tech doesn't matter as much. It, or the image quality doesn't matter as much as you think it does. Here's what, what I'm saying. So I've shot everything from an old GX85 to an Olympus OM5, EM1 Mark III, OM1, Micro Four Thirds, right? And then I shot a bunch of Fuji, uh, X-T5, X-H2S, uh, X-T30 Mark II, X-E4, whatever. And then I shot full frame. I had like an M10, like an SL2S, Sony A7 IV, Canon R8. Had all these different cameras this year, and there's more, trust me, there's more. Um, and what's interesting, the ones that I liked the most had nothing to do with image quality per se. Now, some are sharper than others for sure, um, and some have more noise than others for sure. But what stood out to me was two things mainly, or three, I guess. One was composition and light. I'm putting them together because I think light is part of your composition. And the second thing was, or third thing, however you want to look at it, was colors. That's what stood out to me the most, right? So it was, first of all, how is the light and the composition? Does it tell a story? Is it interesting? And the second thing was the colors. And um, what was less to me is I, as I opened these pictures, sure, if I looked at like a, a GX85 image and I compared it to a, like an SL2S image, there's a difference in image quality, but it's it's actually minuscule. And I'll tell you, that's me pixel peeping on a computer screen. If you were to do that on a phone screen or to print it or to put it in like one of these, you know, table coffee book scenes I'm making, you'd probably notice it even, even less. And so what's interesting about it is the cameras that I, I picked out of here the most, um, now obviously there's correlation between uh, relative to how long I own the camera, but I don't own any camera for a long period of time. But the cameras that I picked the most in order were my Fuji X-T5, so let's just call it Fuji. Very close second was my Leica SL2S and Leica M10. And then third were my Olympus cameras. Um, and I would say it's pretty heavily weighted. Cameras that had very, very little representation in my choices were my Sony and my Canons. And I'm not saying those are bad cameras, they're clearly not. I just liked the uh, image quality less, or I'm sorry, the colors less. And I think the second thing was I, I carried them less. What I noticed was the form factor was the biggest contributor here. My X-T5 was paired with the 27 millimeter F2.8. It was a small package. My Leica was the M10, that's a small package. And even my SL2S was shot with M lenses on it, more so than the bigger SL or L mount autofocus lenses. Same with my Olympus. My Olympus, the OM5, and the EM1 Mark III were shot with small lenses. I think that was a bigger contributing factor than anything else. It was how portable is the system, how durable and rugged is, do I believe that it is, right? And, and it had less to do with its 
autofocus spec, refresh rate, all that kind of stuff. Matter a lot less. And then what I also think I noticed with image quality was the lens was a bigger impact than anything else. There were X-T5 shots I had on the 27 f 2.8, which is a very, very good sharp lens that looked absolutely stellar, again, with good light. And then I had some other lenses that weren't as good that didn't look as good. Same with my Olympus stuff. It's shot with like the 12 to 45 f4 Pro or the 12 to 35 Lumix f2.8 lens. Those images looked significantly cleaner to me than maybe some of the, 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 the less expensive Pro glass. Same with my Leica, right? Um, interestingly enough, on the Fuji stuff, I had the Sigma 1614 20, what was that, 2314 and the 5614. I had that trio. Those images look really, really clean. I think they're cleaner than the, the Fuji 23 F2 and 50 F2 that I had, but that's a different topic for a different day. I guess what I'm trying to say is when, I, when you kind of sit back and analyze your images, you realize image quality is far down and on the list, especially what you, based on what you're reviewing it on. And what's more important is, I guess, will you carry it in lens choice, in size, and then as a photographer focusing on composition light, and then your colors. That's interesting to me. Now, I'm going to say one other thing, a negative that I found going through this exercise right here. And that is, I feel like my, my look is all over the place. Some are shot JPEG, some are shot RAW. The, the raw editing process that I apply to an Olympus file looks different than a Panasonic file, looks different than a Leica file, looks different than a Fuji file, for sure. And so I feel like my image, my there's no consistency. And I think that's probably the biggest thing I'm going to take away is that for 2024, I want to be consistent. I think the consistency then has to do with either applying the same editing style to a, a certain camera brand or... Uh, sticking with one camera for the entire year, which is always an ambition of mine and probably a joke at this point for anybody that watches this channel. I just want to put this out here. If you guys ever do this, go through your images. And if you shot several cameras, you know, that are high resolution versus less. Yeah, for you, the, for the photographer, pixel peeping, you might notice it a little bit. But that's not going to be the biggest contributing factor when you look back because I shoot so many cameras, I forget what I shoot them on half the time. I have to look at the EXIF data. And I'm like, oh my gosh. The cameras that actually looked the worst to me were like Canon R8 and the Sony a7 IV because I had crappy glass in the front of it. And I had less of them because I didn't like carrying them as much. I'm not saying the R8's big, it's not. You get my point. So just consider that this, this season as you're buying new cameras and stuff like that. I would probably pick something that has the best size and form for you and then think about your glass second and then go from there. Right, I think those are, that's the most important. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll make another video about what I'm bringing to Florida. Uh, what's in my bag? Why not? We're going to. I think I have in mind a one camera, two lens setup. All right, see you guys next.